So welcome guys. Uh, so in this video, uh, we are trying to prove the orthogonality, orthogonality of the Legender function. Uh, or I should say Legender polynomial. Okay, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Okay, so uh, we already know that the Legender polynomial satisfy this relationship, right? Okay, so uh, you know, so uh, basically by the stern vernier problem, then we can already show that uh, uh, one from minus one uh, to one that p n x and p m x d x is zero, right? If m is not the same as n, so this is from the previous Dagger vernier uh, vernier uh, stern vernier problem, right? Uh, so the the, the only uh, and the only problem in the uh, also linearity of the the general polynomial is asking about uh, what is this, right? The, the only the this constant is not trivial. Okay, so uh, this video basically just trying to prove this constant. Okay, so uh, that's starting from a stupid uh, recursion relation, right? Otherwise, that uh, there is nothing that we can start. Okay, so this is our, our starting point. And then we can just square it, right? Otherwise, there is nothing we can we can do. So we square it, then we get pm, pn, tm plus one, which sum from zero to infinity, and so m from zero to infinity. Okay. Then the let's integrate out, right? So we integrate from uh, dx, right? One to minus one. Okay. So, but also vanity. Right, so but also vanity, then we know that uh, these terms only survive when m is equals to n, right? So we have this square and uh, t to the power n dx, right? So this is the constant uh, we are we are hoping to, oh sorry, this is 2n, right? And this is constant that we are that uh, that uh, we are we are hoping to to get. Uh, so the final thing is we just do this the left hand side integral. Okay, so we just need to do this. Okay, so let's quickly uh, quickly finish the stupid proof. Okay, so that's just that this is equals to y, right? So y is this this. So dy is just to uh, remember we integral with x, right? So it's minus minus two t dx. Okay, so it will be 1 over 2t, 1 minus t squared, 1 plus t squared, dy divided by y. Okay. And uh, this is log y, right? So it's just log uh, 1 plus t, 1 minus t. And then there is a half, uh, there is a 2 here. So you just delete this, uh, cancel with this, uh, this 2. So you get it. Okay. And uh, this is just 1 over t log 1 plus t minus log uh, 1 minus t. Okay, and uh, I think everybody knows about this, right? So log 1 minus t is basically t minus uh, t plus t squared divided by 2 t cubed, right? And uh, log 1 plus t will be t minus t squared divided by 2 plus t cubed, right? So this is basically from a Tyler expansion. Uh, so combine all of this, and you will get this, right? T to the two n, two n plus one, all right? Because only the other turn, uh, only let me just check. So if you minus this, that only the the even turn survive. Okay, so you get this. So you see the first coefficient is is uh, somewhat like the two, right? So uh, if you use so this is, you use this minus this, right? You get t squared, right? So for z n equals to zero, you get two. Okay, so this is. The same as this, right? So n from zero to infinity, one minus one p n squared dx, t to a two n. Okay, so it's very happy that uh, we solve this stupid uh, normalization constant will be this. Okay, so combine all of this, then we will get uh, uh, also a also of the Legendre polynomial. Basically, is two delta n n two n plus one. Okay, so the next uh, uh, quick results is basically if somebody give you a function f of x and uh, try to expand into the Legender polynomial, right? Then uh, you just, the expansion just take pm, 
right? A N P N P M. And uh, do the uh, quickly intro in uh, the integral dx, right? Dx. So minus one, minus one, one. Okay, so this turn now we don't know how to compute, right? Because we don't know the, what is f. But uh, fortunately, we know how to compute, right? Because we are, we are no, we noticed that the uh, n is only survived as a uh, m equals to one. So this is a m two two m plus one. Okay, so the coefficient is just this. Uh, I think that's enough, right? So basically, this is the common uh, problem in a degenerate polynomial. Uh, so this is also going empty. And the next time, uh, we might uh, give other formulas and solve some electric dynamics problem in the degenerate polynomial. Okay, and I will see you guys in the next videos.